Uh, this is Mike Whiskey Zero, Lima Golf Echo. Uh, just a short video on the new Expert SDR3 uh, from Expert Electronics uh, for use with the uh, Sun SDR2, Sun SDR2 Pro, uh, the Sun SDR DX, the MB1, and <laughs> all their other devices. Anyway, when, uh, when you start it up, there is a launcher uh, program or a launcher which does actually sit down on the taskbar. Uh, so if you lose it, uh, check there. Uh, but when it uh, when it starts up, it finds the radios on your network and it appears in the list. And you hit start. And the radio software uh, just starts up and that uh, that uh, can be minimized out the way if you want. Um, uh, but here's the new software. Uh, it's quite nice looking. It's definitely modern. Uh, we click on the uh, start transceiver button here. Let me just turn this down. And um, we see a new view of the uh, of the radio. Um, you've got. I'll go through it quickly. If you right click in this area here and drag. You move the whole waterfall left and right, the whole the whole lot. And if you notice, your tuned frequency changes as well. You can right click on this and drag this, which keeps your tuned frequency. So if you're, for instance, listening to a station that's up on the edge of the screen here like that, you can right click and drag it into the middle. Um, or you can left click on this and move it around. That, of course, has the effect of uh, changing the tune frequency. If you right-click here and drag, you're, of course, changing the tune frequency as well. If you right-click here and drag, it's locked. So that's the, uh, the different ways of dragging that round. You can, you can also see this blue marker here. If you left-click on that and drag that round, that sets your center position for your zoom. So you can left-click on that middle bar, move it up and down to get more waterfall, less waterfall. You can right-click this as well, and it is the zoom. So it centers around this, this position. So, for instance, if I was listening to a station here, let's uh, just get on this station. I can move this here, right-click, and I can have a look closer in at the signal. And you can uh, middle-click the mouse as well on this bar, and it moves it in chunks. There's quite a few different options you can uh, use with that. You can actually drag that around as well. And if it reaches the edge, it moves the um, it moves the portion that you're seeing. Uh, so yeah, we're listening to uh, 40 meters here. Uh, band selection. Click on that blue drop down. You've got the uh, band selections and the mode selections. So yeah, all very uh, very nice and intuitive. If you went for receiver two, instant it instantly appears pretty much much quicker than the uh, than the older versions. Uh, Expert SDR two much quicker than Expert SDR two. Uh, there's a whole bunch of sorry I'm jumping around here, but it's just a general overview. There's a status bar down the bottom with uh, different features on. So if you hover over them, they will tell you what they do. Um, so on this one, left click to change your sample rate. At the moment we're at three one two kilohertz. Show transceiver settings. Right click on that one. I'm using an external uh, ten meg reference on this radio. The, the band is quite noisy on my um, Info, left click on that, brings up your firmware number and everything like that. 
Let's uh, turn that down a bit. Uh, the fan, I've got a fan sitting on the top of mine, which turns on at 35 centigrade, turns off at 30. Uh, voltage and current there. On this side, you've got uh, your output, so your audio outputs. Um, at the moment, this is not supporting virtual, well, VAC. You know, on the old version, you used to have a virtual audio cable button. Well, that's not in here as yet. Um, but you can use um, this to output the uh, the audio temporarily. Uh, this headphones icon. So at the moment, I'm outputting the audio to the uh, video recording software down a virtual audio cable line one. But my microphone is actually going directly into the radio. Now, you can't change these when that is green when they're enabled you can't hit the drop down if you do it disappears you have to disable that turn that off right click and then you can click on the uh, whichever input you want or output um, and uh, turning it green enables it uh, TCI transceiver control interface right click on there set the port left click turn it off or on on or off and you've got left click here to change local or UTC time. I quite like this, the zoom, the UI zoom. So we can actually uh, shrink down the controls, take up less screen uh, real estate or make them bigger, which is uh, quite handy. Uh, what other things have I found here? Right on, uh, we, we could add a a station so we could add a favorite here test one and then we could move to uh up here click on this plus sign call that test two and then if we select these double click them it moves us back and forth it's quite good you can hide that away as well um We've got things like push the controls out to the sides of the window, which is uh, quite handy. Um, settings, which uh, I think it is on the to-do list. <laughs> this is the uh, the transmit profile. Um, there's nothing else that I can find in that settings. And then we have uh, info, which is the um, version info, and that sort of stuff. We have some new things here, Band Manager, uh, which when you left click it, uh, comes up with this. And you can set your the pin out. Have you noticed that the waterfall kind of stops when I uh, was? Not now, that's strange. <laughs> um, well, there we go. Definitely uh, glitching when I enter this box here. But uh, anyway. Um... The band manager allows you to specify pinouts on, on the external socket, the accessory socket or whatever they call it, depending on uh, what band you're on. So, for instance, if I was on 160 meters in receive, then that pin would be high. Um, allows you to set up some delays and some receiver gains. I noticed that there's no scroll bar on the side of this window, but you can scroll it down for more... Uh, more options so yeah quite interesting so I'll stick that back up the top uh, there's also transverter options now I haven't tried this um, but uh, there's some transfer uh, transverter stuff in here now which uh, looks promising uh, we got the uh, attenuator here it was actually set to minus 20 <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, we got tune and transmit, um, we got the, um, mixer stuff that used to be in the old version. Incidentally, I still believe this issue is in this version, so if we listen to this. So we're listening to that now, uh, that's just set on frequency. If you go into the mixer, and you move volume of A, it doesn't do anything. 
Hello, CQ40, CQ Yet, if you have a sub receiver, let's mute the second one there. Now it does. I don't understand why that channel A, even though you've only got one channel, in my opinion that should, uh, should affect this. That won't do anything because we haven't got any channel B. Um, but uh, yeah, we can move, use arrow keys uh, to move these accurately. I would like to see right click. Yeah, oh, it does actually. Yeah, right click to uh, recenter. It's quite nice. Um, I notice if we right click on this, it doesn't bring it to zero dB on the uh, on the mic option. Right click on mic PC here. Then that there. Right click on mic PC on that area to specify which microphone you want to use. Uh, of course you've got your filter options, you can zoom in here, you can move the edges of the filters. Uh, you can uh, set your edge of your filters, or pick from the presets. Quite, uh, quite good. You can move this up and down. Right click will alter the scale of that. Right click and drag. Thank you, Chris Seven Trees. Bye bye. You've got uh, Tango three zero, Charlie, Radio Delta, calling in binaural reception. Uh, you got noise reduction. Hopefully the other guy will come back. Uh, automatic notch filter. Auto peak filter. And these are quite interesting. Say if uh, not manual notch filters. Uh, let's find something which is permanently stuck on. Must be something here that's permanently, permanently there. Some sort of carrier I can get rid of. Yeah, let's have a quick look. Uh, turn notch filter on, add a notch. Alter the size of the notch. So yeah, that's quite uh, quite good. Pretty good. And then you can uh, drag. I think that will stay there. Yeah. That stays fixed. You can make these quite big. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's quite nice. What I have noticed, you can still click it plus NF to add one here, NF plus, and it doesn't do anything unless you have that switched on. Notch filter switched on, and then you can click plus. Uh, middle mouse wheel click to get rid of those. I think it tells you about that, yeah, to delete wheel click on a filter. To delete wheel click on a filter. <laughs> um, yeah, you got right click here, so you can have your mic meter or your power meter. Displayed, you got a break in options, mute for this entire thing. Uh, I think that's about it, I think that's about everything covered that's in this alpha release. Um, but uh, let's quickly bring up receiver 2, uh, it's on the same band at the minute, let's mute, actually let's just move that over. I'm trying to find some decent signals on here. So we've got... Appel 40, appel général Bande 47, 
No. This is the this receiver up here, so we can listen to some FT8. No. Listen to some FT8 there, so we can actually hear it. Move the FT8 into the left speaker. Receiver 2 in the right speaker. You can even create a sub receiver in each one of these. Uh, let's copy A to B, the sub receiver. See if we can hear the sub receiver as well. Yeah. So we've got primary receiver, sub receiver on A and B in the left speaker. Can all get very complicated this. <laughs> now we have four receivers going. Um receiver two is in the right speaker. And the sub receiver of receiver two is in the right speaker as well. So yeah, it's quite a, you can achieve quite a lot uh, with it. A split mode swapping and all that sort of stuff to transmit on a split you hit on this TX. So that is now your transmit frequency. And this is your uh, receive. Uh, how to get rid of that, I don't know. Oh yes, click on the TX on this, uh, on the primary receiver. So yeah, quite uh, quite cool, a very good start uh, to Expert uh, SDR3. Expert Electronics, I think, have been working quite hard on it. Um, but there's a lot to do uh, still. VAC, CAT support uh, is missing, as are a lot of the settings, DSP settings, um, all sorts of things, really. Um, the amount of output power per band, uh, all, all that sort of stuff. That's uh, all missing at the moment. But uh, time, I guess. And uh, all that will be uh, f uh, will arrive in the software. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick overview. Uh, sorry that it was uh, a bit around and about, but uh, it covers most things that are in this uh, version. In way or another, you've got AGC, fast or normal. And you can actually turn it off. Um, there is no settings for that as yet. Uh, step. Um, XIT. Uh, RIT. So, uh, yeah, quite uh, quite interesting. All good. Rightio, 7-3 for now. Cheers, MW0, Mel, GE.